The news out of Japan is sending shockwaves around the world, including right here in West Seattle. Now, it broke my heart when I heard that, you know, that he was dead, assassinated. That was Jerry Kingan and his wife Kathy's reaction after learning that Shinzo Abe, the former prime minister of Japan, was shot and killed during a campaign event. A man was taken into custody. It's an unimaginable tragedy in a country that rarely sees gun violence. We're just devastated, but we are so honored to have played a part in the memories that they have together here in Seattle. She's referring to April 19, 2018. We received a call from the Japanese consulate here in Seattle, um, and they informed us that Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was coming to Seattle. And there was a request for the then Prime Minister and his wife to have lunch at the Kingan's restaurant, Salty's on Alki. Oh, it was huge. We were very flattered, very honored. When the motorcade arrived, they were among the first to greet the couple. And then his wife, Aki-san, and I spent a lot of time off to the side. She was so approachable. Her English was beautiful. And she and my wife bonded instantly. Here we got to speak with uh, Prime Minister Abe and get to know him. I first met Shinzo Abe uh, back in 2016. Former King 5 anchor Lori Matsukawa has a connection too. This was a a huge shock for me. And I, I do know that uh, Shinzo Abe had his detractors, but uh, as far as we civilians on the ground know, he very much promoted the, this people-to-people -people relationship idea. As a memorial grows in Japan, and this couple was holding on to the memories yeah. made right here. And she surprisingly wrote to me afterwards Though my husband and I stayed in Seattle for a very short time, we were able to make wonderful memories there, thanks to your kindness. Sincerely, Aki Abe. Uh, my heart is breaking for her now. The Japanese Cultural and Community Center of Washington sent a statement today. The executive director says she's shocked by the news, and she also noted that Japan has an exceptionally low crime rate, and gun violence is almost unheard of. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.